Hello everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Return of the Oprah Den. You thought we were finished, weren't you? No, 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 no. Because I made a mistake. I had confused the last two identities I had left to solve. So now we have solved everybody's fate here on the Oprah Den. Everyone's fate that we can at the moment. Because the third mate and the captain steward disappear from the story. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so they won't be coming back. So the the ending we got last time was well, I guess that was the bad ending. Hopefully this now gives us the good ending. I thought I had missed something. Sit down so you don't but it I just got a little confused by the last the last four people you solve come in sets of two instead of sets of three. So hopefully this will now allow us to fill out the remaining pages of the book. But we'll see. Maybe we just get a completely different ending where it's like, yeah, those other two dudes just kind of screwed off. Who knows? Yeah, we're back to the one week later part. Can I fast forward through this? Uh, this was in the last episode, so we're just gonna skip right through this. I'll fast forward this part. Okay, we're gonna sign it. I probably don't need to fast forward that. That was pretty quick. Yep, I still have the pocket watch. And the book gets mailed back. Do we still do a time jump? Uh, maybe? Anything? Yep. Time jump of one year later. Oh, that's different. I'll be turning in. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. Oh, and there's more tea this time. <clears throat> okay, this is a better ending. Now there's more tea. Oh, we have a package as well instead of just a letter. Let's see what this holds. Probably nothing good. It's very well wrapped. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Ober Din is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. Oh, so we get the book back this time. Is that just the letter? Oh, it's just the letter. All right, what's in this? Because we know what the book has. Oh, oh, it's a hand. Oh, it's a hand. Why would he send it? What? Why would he send us something like that? Is this a message? Oh, it's res the pocket watch is responding to it. Uh, just when we thought we were out. 
pulled back in. Henry Evans shot the monkey. Who? What's what's going on in here? All right. Well, there's the captain steward. Oh, and there's and, and there's the third mate. It looks like he got speared. What is happening here? Why would you shoot the monkey? The monkey didn't do anything wrong. This tale belongs to you now. Chapter 8. Bargain. Yeah, monkey's paws are never good to have in your possession. A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Oh, <laughs> not exactly not entirely pleasant. It might do what monkeys do and start using some fecal matter as a weapon. But it was friendly, on the other hand. Oh. Well, you free. Give it a shell. Do it. Hoist it out. Just the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. Get the tail, boy. What is what is going on? They return. Uh, the ship. The Uberton. See it over. So this all looks whoa. Okay, so... So, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So that mermaid has the shell. Yeah, I know that. Can, can I still not... Okay, I still can't... Say what his fate was. He was spiked by a terrible beast. I don't know how many times we've had to hear that phrase in this playthrough, but he was spiked by a terrible beast. The beast was terrible, and it spiked him. Okay, now we can put it in. He was spiked by a terrible beast. Now we just have to figure out how... Wait, what? We're stealing the soul of one of the creatures? Who is that? Oh, that's our boy, the Cap'n. Okay, it's... Stewart's dead, and he's clutching the shell. Oh, Catherine's just stabbing these things. So the squid is up there already? Oh, so the squid's up there causing hell already. 
And he's down here killing the mermaids because he thinks they brought the crack in here. A captured beast fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. Oh, we're stealing the soul of the other beast, too. Call it off, damn you! This is your Kraken! You brought it here! Send it back! Oh! Now he's just shooting them! All right, he's still dead. Nice shot one of them, grabbed the spear, speared the other one. And then they just, they took this one out of its cage and took it up top? Huh. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Alright. I'm pretty sure I know how this guy died. I mean, everyone that's touched that chest has met, met a terrible end. No, Quicksilver's just another name for Mercury. Why would you touch it? Oh, I just, they really didn't. Did they know Mercury was fatal? Yeah. Yep, he reached in there and he burned to death. Oh, he's, he's broken out of his chains already somehow. Wow. That dude is strong. But yeah, Quicksilver is another name for Mercury. That's what Mercury used to be called in the 18th century. Although sometimes they did think it had medicinal properties. I would have to look up the timeline of when people started to realize that it was actually poisonous to you. And that you shouldn't be messing with it. He burned to death. Boom. All fates correct. Perfect. Alright, as we're boom tube it out of here, back home. Okay, I can't control this. It's just a cutscene. got a gigantic diamond on his bookshelf. The end. Oh, dedicated to Lucas Pope's dad. That's nice. Well, thank you everyone for joining me on this murder mystery. Of the doomed ship, Oberdin, that ooh, really, really hit some tough, tough times as soon as it left port. Ooh, that just, 
I mean, you got crazy spider crabs, you got krakens, you got illnesses, you got interpersonal problems leading to murders. You got mermaids, like, you got magic shells. You got crazy magic fire killing people. That's, it was quite the adventure. Overall, very enjoyable game. It makes, it makes you think. You really have to, you know, put a lot of pieces together to really unravel the mystery and... It gets your brain pumping. I like it. I liked it. I don't know if this is going to be quite the end of Oberdin content on uh, on the channel. I got something in mind I kind of want to do with this game that... It's probably not going to come out soon after this playthrough, but it will be on the channel eventually. Well, thank you for coming along with me once again. Stay tuned to the channel for more Let's Plays coming up from, from me, Muscle Gerbil. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is you're watching this. And I'm going to see you next time.